Okay, yeah, this is definitely the what's new Scooby-Doo style here. Chapter 3. Searching the castle. Search the castle for mysteries and find the way out. When a creature is nearby, you can hide behind furniture, barrels, and other objects. Jump into Eggie's arms to afford spiders, rats. Duck for so close. Let's see. Down is duck. Up into arms. And uh, A is essentially the action button. If you want to do shit, press A. I wish you could jump. Okay, I see. I see how this works. This is really strange. And not useful. And... Apparently really easy. It's like a platform game that except it's more of a skill avoid game with ladders if I, the more I look at it. And since this joystick sucks, it doesn't make this easy at all. I imagine for that's for when like an actual dangerous thing comes by. If that ever happens. I have my doubts. No! Yep. Dangerous thing. Come on. Okay. I am a believer now in the power of Scooby. I know he's supposed to be a Great Dane, but he's never looked like one. Ever. I don't know if that's to the its benefit or what, but yeah. I do like that they're making an entire mechanic out of his cowardice. Out of their cowardice, that's that's kind of neat. So if I get hit at all by the, the by the big ones, I die. Got it. So, and that's not worth a, bu a fucking milk bone that they call a Sno Scooby Snack. I don't know why, but I never remembered Scooby Snacks looking like they do in this, where they're, you know, basically milk bones. Were they, like, square and had, like, an S on them? That's what I remember, at least. Back in my day... Scooby was more of a coward, and Shaggy was still as useless as ever. Back in May Day. Ugh, come on. Where's the exit? There's the exit. I'd say where's the exit is the exit sign. It's right there. Great. I don't know. I find it... I wish there were... I like that, you know, there is different styles of gameplay here. I just kind of wish they spiced it up a bit or made it less standard feeling on some of it. Like, like this one I really like. The driving and the uh, lateral frogger can fuck itself. I did not enjoy that. At all. <sighs> Keeping the stick in a neutral position is just a pain in the ass. I love how we're controlling Scooby, like, 
you know, Shaggy is always just along for the fucking ride. I often wondered why, you know, fucking Shaggy was ever fucking there to begin with. Oh, fuck you! I did not want to go around that side. Like, Shaggy was always along for the ride, even to his own fucking dog. That is sadness uh, on a primal, oh my god, you're useless level. You are the most use- you are the king of useless if you are playing second fiddle to your own fucking dog. They really need to, uh, fix the hitboxes on this. And joy bo and the joystick, and everything else. I don't know. I don't know why I expect more from these things than, you know, you would even expect to get at the time. I don't know. Maybe it's all of my faith in programmers. Fuck oh, no, no. Not even close. So now I have to wait for him to go all the way fucking back, I think. Nope. I can just get hit by that and then eat ice cream. Yay, ice cream! Actually, I'm not a big fan of ice cream. I like frozen yogurt. Oh, come on! I... Uh, these fucking controls, man! Okay, I, I was gonna cut here, but apparently the villains and stuff are completely randomized. And the layout, I, I, I'm thinking, too, which is really fucking cool. Good on ya, game. I bet your boots, buddy. God damn it! You will never know how far I was I was pulling the stick that way. Ugh. I don't think it's age either, I just think this joystick itself was never good. And the shape of it sucks. I get it's supposed to be like a ghoul out the top, and what appears to be excuse the reference twisted metal coming out of it. God damn it! Game, why won't you let me run? Now on, I'm just gonna fucking hide from everything. If I hear the bones, I run. Okay. Come on, move your fucking Jack Skellington ass! Okay, that's not fair. Jack Skellington's way cooler. Although, stop motion Scooby would be pretty cool. I mean, other than the... The, uh, like, the robot chicken references and shit. See, I keep... I move one way, and then it decides for me whether to move up or down. I'm, I'm wondering if he's just supposed to be that fucking scared. Or if this game just has shitty controls. I intend to believe the uh, shitty control theory myself. Yeah, I am fucked. I don't 
don't know why, but him saying come on in, in this, like, situation just feels wrong. Or out of character, I should say. Just because he would be screaming, like, to leave and try and not unless they were like running running they would he wouldn't be like come on get out of here or something he's more like come on scoob get in the van i know you love the van i know you love to hang your head out the windows i don't know how the villain if the villain is i i mean we've gotten past the point where there's no mystical elements in scooby-doo I mean, other than the 13 ghosts, we still have Scooby-Doo Scooby and Zombie Island, which is the shit. Great film. Uh, and Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which, its sequel, I feel is very underappreciated. It's also the first introduction of the Hex Girls. Whom are awesome and now are, like, Scooby-Doo canon to the nth degree, which is great. I don't know, it feels appropriate, considering the world they live in, that these guys would be like groupies to a fucking band that uses horror imagery to me. Like, it always, it always feels like they're just hanging around the Hex Girls, kind of annoying them, to me at least, or interrupting, even though it's more like... It's like these guys have solved them enough mysteries that they should actually be, you know, like a bonus to the show or something. That is the stage show of the Hex Girls. Also, where is my independent Hex Girls cartoon? Like, let's make a Josie and the Pussycat that doesn't suck off of it. And I actually, I didn't see the film because I'm not an idiot. Um... But uh, Josie, Josie and the Pussycats, uh, fucking, like, I, I read the, I, I didn't watch the shit, I watched a few episodes of the old 60s TV show, 60s, 70s TV show, but I did read a lot of the comics as they were in the same world as Archie, and I fucking love Archie, and I am looking forward to Riverdale, the series. I don't know why I am, as teen dramas generally suck, but I think for some reason, with it being that nonsensical, like, I'm gonna like it. Just make your teen drama not make any fucking sense, and I'll watch it. Like, make a fucking Twin Peaks the fucking, uh, <laughs> the fucking teen drama, that would be great. God, I had the... In my high school for health class, we watched the fucking OC for some fucking reason, and I regret everything about it, having to watch it. We even had fucking worksheets to fill out after, and I'm just like, I'm not learning anything other than to hate these characters. Which, to be fair, is the lesson you should take from that show. Don't trust these people. They're douchebags. Series. I don't know why you need a whole series to learn that, but apparently some people do. Fuck me. Ah! Alright, this should be back to level 4 here. So, me, edit this back in. Shit. Or don't. I, I, uh, if the people will enjoy it, the all nobody who watches me. The all nobody. I picked up 12 Scooby Snacks and no... I haven't gotten a single free life off of it yet, which is puzzling to me. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Oh, that's not a wall. Well then fuck me then! Uh, 
I love all these medieval castles in Scooby-Doo. Like, they really... Like, that's a huge, common thing in the world, let alone North America. You know. Ugh. North America, home of all those medieval castles you never, ever heard about. Ever. You know, I, I don't know the point of having the progress thing on here, just because you it's like, I walk to the right. That is all the directions I need, is to figure out how to keep going right, and that's it. That's all I need. Anything else is a, is a bit superfluous, don't you think? Oh, we got something new. We got a big giant ass spider. Yay. I remember I had a videotape of Scooby Doo and the werewolf, which was when Shaggy turned into a werewolf and had a girlfriend that wasn't, uh, that was really, really fucking weird. Her name was like Midge or some shit. She was blonde and annoying, and Scrappy was there, so it was double annoying. But I just remember they had a giant-ass spider in that. It was sort of a Scooby-Doo meets Wacky Races type deal. Which, Wacky Race is far better. And, and I mean, but I, like I said, I like Scooby-Doo, I like the modern incarnations, and I wish that, uh... The new Wacky Racers thing and would had never been canned because that was one of my personal favorites as a child. And the Perilous Adventures of, of uh, Penelope Pit Stop. Yeah, try and say that one like five times fast. Where she was basically uh, protected by uh, the uh, mafia, you know, the Ant Hill mob. Which, I wasn't aware the Mafia was into protecting people like that, I guess. I don't know all about them. I've never been in the mob. Ooh, you made it tricky by making two of them. That I have to run from, I'm assuming. Go, go, go! I'm not entirely sure what to do here. I don't know if this means that he started walking back yet, which concerns me. Okay, so I need to fucking get them both over there at the same time. That's gonna eat up all of my fucking time, though. Oh, unless there's a way around it. I'm just gonna check. Because, you know, you always check to see if there's a way around. Instead of, you know... I don't know if that's even beatable with the way this thing's programmed. And how clunky it is. That would suck, not being able to beat it. It's like, I couldn't beat Scooby-Doo on the shitty set. Is that it? Yeah. I don't know. Was there more Hanna-Barbera plug-and-plays? Because I would like... I mean, I have a couple Disney ones... I don't have any. I, I don't know if there are Looney Tunes ones either, which honestly I prefer, but. Hey. You can only get so far on your good looks. Isn't that right, Dappy? You egotistical motherfucker. Alright. Have the monsters. Change now. I don't hear the skeleton. I don't know if that means there's the skeleton's gone now that's off screen, which would honestly be 
the best for me. Fuck you! Hopefully the enemies will reset, making this an easier map. Fuck, I just called it a map. This isn't a fucking map. It's a fucking, you know, travesty of a game. Gaming map, yeah. It's like, go up there with all the great gaming maps, like Skyrim and fucking Dark Souls. And yeah, I know they're levels, but I think of them as maps, just because you have to map them out, I guess. Looks like he's playing the world's smallest violin for me. Yep. Scooby-Dooby! Slowly and dead. Look, he's dead. He doesn't walk quick anymore. You, know, you don't have to make him feel bad about it. Come on. Yes! So apparently this... Oh, fuck you! I am aware I am yelling at a game intended for children and, uh... cartoon enthusiasts. I'm pretending it's for a cartoon enthusiast, as I am one. So. God, I gotta watch that Toon Heads show. I've always wanted to watch that, but... It was always on at, like, weird-ass times, and it was cancelled. Quicker to do that than to fucking try and outgun him. Oh, run and gun. Oh god, it's Scooby to run and gun. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> like, actually just have Scooby in the metal slug tank. You know, produ have SNK make it. I don't think SNK is doing anything in these days. Except making more King of Fighters. Bring that back. I don't need another King of Fighters. I need you to do running guns and metal slugs and shit like that, man. That's what I always want from SNK, at least. Although, I did like uh, some of their fighting games. I liked Goro Mark of the Wolves. Wolf, that's odd. Excellent. Excellent fighter. Woo! Fuck you, game! Level complete. Hopefully my health refills. Yes, it doesn't need to. I don't know what this screenshot means. I don't know why I spend the time doing this. It's just a compulsion, I guess. At least it doesn't go past like where you need to be, which is definitely great. There's a lot of old games that do that. They go past where... You should go, and it just is, is infuriating. That's momentum on the scroll. That sounds like the name of a nerd cartoon. Momentum on the scroll. 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 Like for those weighted scroll reels and shit. <laughs> 